for all of us, this Christmas will be a very different event from anything we envisaged at the beginning of the year. The last nine months has been a mixture of confusion, apprehension and dismay as we come to terms with the requirement of practising physical distancing from friends and family. Who would have thought that wearing a mask in public would become second nature, or that greeting a friend with a firm handshake would become one of life's taboos, or that a simple token of affection such as a hug for an elderly relative would be banned. And yet, as we fast approach Christmas, we are forcibly reminded that what we thought as normal only 12 months ago is now a fading memory. But the message of Christmas has always been one of hope. At the first Christmas, a baby was born in a stable, not a palace, not even a proper house. That baby was Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the Saviour of mankind. We sing of the wise men who brought gifts of frankincense, golden mare, and the shepherds who brought a lamb. On Christmas morning, we will open presents which were placed around the base of the tree, and we thank our loved ones for their kindness in finding another pair of socks. For many, the best Christmas present of all will be the COVID-19 vaccine. Not just a life saver, but also a life changer. And I look forward to receiving my vaccination and trust everyone who is eligible to be vaccinated will take up the offer. 2021 promises to be a year of variation. The first part of the year will undoubtedly be one of consolidating the medical gains made so far, whereas the second half looks more likely to be the time to put into motion a social and economic recovery plan. Freemason will have to undertake a similar exercise. We cannot allow the momentum of late 2019 to simply slip away as we enter a new year. Now, more than ever, we have to seize the day and to renew our efforts to welcome into Freemasonry those good men who have been waiting many months to join our fraternity. I know that Lodge committees will focus on what actions need to be taken to meet the expectation of each and every candidate. I want to thank each and every one of you for the amazing support you have given your Lodge and to the province through this difficult year. I wish you and your families a very happy Christmas and a healthy New Year.